that's the Sphinx. And that looks like a nose. Knock, Sphinx, nose. Knock, Sphinx, nose. <gasps> I got it! Look! Knock for the Sphinx's nose. We have to knock on something. Hello? We need your help. Which door do you think we should knock on? This one! Right, this one. The one with the nose. the Sphinx's head. Inside? Hey, look! I don't believe it! You guys, check it out! Wow! Look at that! Whoa! Whoa. 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 Do you know what this means? Gilly, it means we figured out the secret of the Sphinx! We found his nose! We were riding in his nose. Hieroglyphics are terrific. But he didn't have any training. <laughs> and then one day, a group of real ninjas came to town. Thanks. You're welcome. Table for five, please. Have a seat, ninjas. Excuse me. <laughs> Are you guys really ninjas? Mm-hmm. That's so cool. You know, I'm kind of a ninja, too. Check it out. Who? <laughs> what ninja school did you go to? Uh, ninja school? Yeah, there's one up on the mountain. That's where we learn all of our ninja skills. Like ninja stealth. Stealth is when someone moves so quietly you don't even know they're there. And ninja speed. Whoa. And ninja strength. Oh, yeah, well, I already know all those things. Watch. Stealth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speed. And strength. <laughs> you might even say that I'm the greatest ninja in the world. You'd better not let Raku Nuki hear you say that. That's yeah. right. Raku who? Raku Nuki, the giant raccoon who lives in the forest. He's the greatest ninja in the world. Better than all of us. A giant raccoon? The greatest ninja? Ha! <laughs> That's a good one. Well, let us know if you ever want to come to ninja school and really learn ninja skills. Thanks anyway, but I don't need it. <laughs> This is a nice place for a picnic. Excuse me, princess. 
May I have a cheese pretzel? Yummy! Pretzel bottle! He's going to eat Yummy. our... Yummy! And he keeps interrupting us. Yummy! Let's get out of here! Yummy! Lost him. Looks like we'll have to have our pretzel picnic inside. So the princess and her knight decided to have their picnic inside the pyramid. Excuse me, knight. Would you please pass the mustard? Here you go, princess. But once again... Yummy! Pretzel quaddle! Gil, would you like a plain pretzel or a cheese pretzel? Yummy! What about mustard? Yummy! Excuse me, Pretzel Quaddle, but you're not being very polite. Uh. Pretzel Quaddle needs your help. When someone is busy, but you'd like them to listen to you, what should you say? Excuse me! That's right! Excuse me? Yes, Pretzel Quaddle? Me, I have a pretzel. What's the magic word? Please? That's right, yeah! And so, Pretzel Quattle learned to use good manners. Yeah, excuse me, Princess. Uh, may I have a yummy pretzel, please? Of course! Um, could you please toss it to me? I don't have hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So the wee lasses ran away again. Hey, girls, what's shaking? The rock mess lobster won't let us cross his bridge unless we totally rock. Really? Well, I totally rock. Take me to this lobster you speak of. And so they went back to try again. You don't give up, do ya? I totally rock. Yeah, I totally rock. I totally rock. Well, what do you think? I think you look delicious. Eek! Hey, wait a minute. We have to get across that bridge. I rock and you rock and you rock. Maybe if we play together, we totally rock. Yeah, let's play together. Will you help us? Come on. Ready to rock, girls? Totally! Clap with me to help us totally rock. Ready? Great! We totally rock. So we be small. When we totally rock. We feel ten feet tall. Yeah, we totally rock. Make it jump up and down. We totally rock. Come on and shake it while we rock this sound. Rock, rock, rock. Rock and roll. Rock, rock, rock. Rock and roll. Help us hit the symbol. You lassies totally rock! You may cross my bridge! Thank you! Come on, we've got to get to the Rock and Roll Festival! Yeah! Come on! And so, the three young lasses crossed the bridge and headed for the Rock Festival. There were two baby penguin sitters in Antarctica, the coldest place in the world. Okay, babies, playtime is over. It's time for us to get you back to your mommies and daddies. Everybody into the stroller! Which one of the babies should we take home first? Little Chick, Middle Chick, or Big Chick? Let's take Little Chick. Okay, Little Chick lives in Icicle Bay. Let's go. But we better watch out for leopard seals. They eat penguins. Don't worry, little penguins. It's our job to keep you safe. All right, chicks, let's roll. So, baby penguin sitters went to Icicle Bay. 
Here we are, little chick. And look, there is your daddy. See you tomorrow, little chick. But then... Close one. We'd better hurry up and get these chicks back to their mommies and daddies. Okay, who's next? Middle Chick's mommy lives in Snowy Cove. Then that's where we're going. So the baby penguin sitters went to Snowy Cove. Look, Middle Chick, there's your mama. There you go. See you tomorrow, Middle Chick. What's a billabong? A billabong is a small Australian lake. That's right, billabong. Now, what was it you were looking for? I'd like to see a platypus. Platy what now? A platypus. It's an animal. So, what's this platypus supposed to look like? My Australia book says the platypus's body looks like an otter's body, but the tail and head are different. The platypus has different body parts that you might have seen on other animals. What does the platypus's tail look like? It's flat, like a beaver's tail. We need your help. Which one of these tails is flat like a beaver's tail? This one or this one? One. Right! The platypus uses his flat tail to swim through the water. No kidding! What else does it have? Let's see. It has a body like an otter, a tail like a beaver, and, oh, a mouth like a duck. A mouth like a duck? What? We need your help again. Which one of these is shaped like a duck's bill? This one, this one, or this one? That one! That's right! Wowzers! That's one strange-looking animal! A mouth like a duck, a body like an otter, and a tail like a beaver. The platypus. Now let's see if we can find one. No worries, mate. Help us search the billabong for a platypus. If you see a platypus, say platypus. Platypus! There it is! Got it! There you are, mate! The platypus! Thanks for your help. Here you go, horsies. Some fresh hay for you to eat. And just as the horses were about to eat... <laughs> our chores fast. All we have to do now is feed the chickens. Here are the chicken feed bags. The numbers on these bags tell us how many chickens they can feed. Let's start with four. <laughs> Cerberus! Quick, we need your help to feed the rest of the chickens. We fed four chickens. How many more chickens do we need to feed? Three more! Three! Right! That means we need to use bag number three. Here you go, chickens! But just then... 
What's all the racket about? Cerberus is trying to get us. Huh? We don't want to get you. We just want some food. Yeah. Well, we've got some dog food right here. You can have it, Cerberus. But you have to help out on the farm. You're pretty good at barking. You could be a watchdog. Okay, cool. Yeah. Old McNaughty is at his farm. E -I -E -I -O. <laughs> I'm hungry, Chef Gobi. Let's make some pancakes, Chef Una. Here's the recipe. To follow the recipe, we need some ingredients. What's an ingredient? Ingredients are all the things you put into the food you're making. <laughs> What ingredients do we need to make pancakes? The ingredients are listed here on the recipe. See? The recipe says we need flour, eggs, and milk to make pancakes. We already have flour. Let's go find some eggs and milk. So the two Viking chefs traveled all around Norway to find the rest of the ingredients to make pancakes. First, they went to a farm to get the eggs. I've got the eggs from the chicken. Thank you. <laughs> Next we need... Yum! Yeah. <laughs> oh, no! It's the kitchen witch! She thinks we're yummy. She's gonna try to eat us. Let's get out of here. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> but at least we got the eggs. What else do we need? The next ingredient in the recipe is milk. Let's go! So the pancake chefs went to find some milk at a dairy. I've got the milk made by the cows. Thanks, Mrs. Cow. That's the last ingredient. Now we can follow the recipe to make pancakes. Let's go back to Yummy. the... Yummy! <laughs> Kitchen witch! <laughs> Let's get out of here! Nice work, ninjas. Thanks for your help. Ninjas always help other ninjas. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks. If you follow that trail, it will take you over the ridge and right to Moshi's home. Good luck, ninjas. Thanks for your help. So, ready to see your troop, Moshi? Moshi? <laughs> Moshi! <sighs> Moshi home. for bringing Ninja Moshi back home to us. Huh? Moshi is a ninja? No wonder he had all those cool ninja moves. <laughs> Hello, ninjas. Master Grouper. Well done. 
You've completed your mission and passed the test. You climbed the mountain and brought little Moshi home. But he was a ninja all along. He didn't really need our help. Moshi! <laughs> well, Zuli, even the most skilled ninjas need to use teamwork, especially when climbing a mountain. <laughs> we are a great ninja team. Mission accomplished. And so, Ninja Una and Ninja Zuli completed their first ninja mission by reuniting Moshi with his troop. He's coming after us! Froyo! That was a close one. Let's get back to our strawberries. There's got to be something we can do before they all dry up. And so, the farmers went to their last strawberry patch. Strawberry? I'm afraid we can't make strawberry froyo without strawberries. Yeah, and strawberries need rain to grow. And you keep blowing away our rain clouds. <laughs> I want strawberry froyo. <laughs> well, if you really want some strawberry froyo, we're going to need to find a rain cloud. Clouds? Oh, I know where there are some clouds. Cloud above mountain top, cloud above sheep meadow, and a cloud above woodsy forest. <laughs> but, uh, but I don't know which is best to make strawberries grow. The giant needs your help. Which one of these clouds will make rain so the strawberries grow? You're right. That's a rain cloud. Oh, boy! <laughs> Look! The rain is helping the strawberries grow. So the strawberries grew plump and juicy so the farmers can make their delicious strawberry frozen yogurt. Froyo yummy! When the Arctic winds are at their worst, it's easy for an explorer to lose his way. the top, say, North Pole. North Pole! Yes! We did it, boy! <laughs> hey, everybody! Welcome to the North Pole! You did it, Gilly! You made it to the very top of the world. Thanks for your help. Snow codes for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On top of the world, where everything's white. This is the Arctic Line. Here comes the dragon. Again, let's hear it for the dragon. Hmm, 
I wonder where the dragon is. Aww. Oh no! Oh no! I think something's wrong. Uh oh! Oh no! What's wrong, Ming? Yeah, where's the dragon? There's a problem. We don't have enough people to hold the dragon poles. How many more people do you need? Hmm. I'm not sure. We need your help. Help us count the poles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we need six people to hold the rest of the poles. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're six people. But can you swish and swoosh like a dragon? You're talking to the best swishers and swooshers this side of Bubble Tucky. Perfect. Come on, this way. Yay! Sure, let me see. Oh, yeah. <gasps> it looks like this parade will have a dragon after all. Please welcome the New Year's Dragon! <laughs> your parents to subscribe to Nick Jr.'s Bubble Guppies YouTube channel for new videos every week. And watch full episodes on the Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. channel.